Let us start with the Yantra meditation to release, relax and awaken to our inner self. Lie down on the back, close your eyes. Lie down on the back, close your eyes. One can also do while sitting or standing or lying down, whatever is most comfortable. So, be comfortable. Your eyes are closed gently and uh, shoulder blades just align and adjust all the joints in the body. To awaken to being comfortable, your neck joints, shoulders, elbows, knees, ankles, toes, hip joints. The body, uh, don't, do not hold your body. It is totally free from any discomfort, any stretching or pressure and you release. In that way, you release the subconscious mind or the habitual mind causing the discomfort in the body. Whether we say anxiety or depression or any negative thought pattern, it is stored in the memory bank. It comes on the surface. It gives us uh, the expression of those symptoms. They all are part of our unconsciousness. And they manifest when we are not aware of ourselves. We lack self-awareness. The unconsciousness comes on the surface, manifest into these problems and issues. Can there be any practice which helps us to consciously go deeper within? Unlike in hypnosis, we move subconsciously inside we are not fully aware we are controlled by someone here we consciously move within come face to face with those accumulated impressions help them release appreciate our essential nature that is of peace, that is of love and happiness, the, we can effectively manage these issues. That is what we are doing practically. But how do, under, how do we understand based on the philosophy of the tradition, the Eastern psychology. The Eastern psychology says that all problems of mind and body belongs to the six layers of our personality. Our personality is different from the existence. Well, what are the six layers? Let us experience consciously, become aware of the space outside the body. The extinction of the space is the world of people, events, and relations. If there is no outer world, how can we talk about relationship? events that causes us the stress and the pleasure and the people we love, we adore, we 
how it will react, or nothing of these negative patterns will ever come to us. So the Eastern cycle is say, cycle as he says, our perception need to be changed with reference to the people, events, and relations outside the physical body. That is the first layer of our personality. The second is the physical body. This body sometimes feels little pain aggravated by the mind, by fear. Sometimes there are normal sensations. So the body wants to remain habitually in the mode of pleasure. And it is unconsciousness. The mind goes into the body unconsciously. That's why we have in anger we clench the fist, we tighten the part of the body and the face. So can that is the second layer, can we become aware and release all those negative patterns that has set? The third layer is the energy body. We strip this energy from the body, from the unconsciousness, from the negative thought pattern. It's a kind of a release. The fourth is, third is the mind. Fourth is the mind, mental layer. Fifth is the intellect. Sixth is the pleasure that we experience. And deep inside all these six layers is the real self. We do all practices, we follow this principle that we have to awaken to the real self of the nature of peace, happiness, bliss, wisdom. Even if we consider and start with a hypothesis, one need not to believe that if we explore consciously that real self or the inner peace and happiness and allow it to move into the body, the outer world, the emotions and the mind, we transform ourselves. This is all about this meditation. So let us First, we release the energy from the unconscious impressions. There are many ways. Look deep inside the heart at the center. Focus continues to be there and start long and the fast breathing into the chest. That's a good rhythm. Continue with the rhythm. If you're continuously doing the long and the fast breathing, and for a longer period, the subconscious mind may resist, but you continue doing it. And when you bypass, take over the unconscious that resist and react to the practice you become successful in releasing the energy. So there are practical indications. Continue. Continue. Long and the first breath into the chest, total expansion of the ribs, <coughs> and it is normal that when we do it continuously, we experience the lightness in the head. The chances are the oxygen concentration increases in the brain. 
that raises our awareness and alertness. We need that in this entire practice. Unstop it, do nothing, no movement in the body also. Continue to look at the breath, three-pointed awareness of the breath. The moving breath, feeling the sensation and no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Fourth point, the moment the breath goes and mentally say in one, out one. Now there is an opportunity to become aware without any action of the mind. Means that you don't change the rate and the rhythm of the breath and you start counting the breath. What we are doing, we are moving into the state of passivity by counting the breath. Counting the breath is paying attention and that is the passive practice. The Western psychology says it is mindfulness, but it is not. And and now do not think, remain as you are. You are in the state of doing nothing. Only then you awaken to the state of mindfulness. When you do nothing, you are in the present moment. You are aware of the space outside the body, the stillness and the sensation in the body, the breath and its movement, the thoughts that are coming and going, the feeling that you have. It is all inclusive awareness without any effort. When there is all inclusive awareness without any effort, It is mindfulness. So that gives us a glimpse that within no time we can move into peace. By his calmness. But our journey is to explore the impressions accumulated in the past and deep down into our unconsciousness. We have to move consciously and release them. Awareness of the breath. Three-point awareness of the breath. The breath is going in, coming out. You are aware. You see the all-inclusive awareness? Step by step we expand the mind. That is how we help the mind to go within. Second point, when the breath goes and you feel the sensation, when the breath comes out, You feel the sensation. And there is no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. So that becomes the three-pointed awareness of the breath. 
Now the four-pointed awareness. Add one more point step by step. As if the mind is not knowing to make an effort and still it expands. The moment the breath goes and look inside the heart in the space, the moment the breath comes out, look inside the heart in the space. Another point of awareness. The moment the breath is going in, you see the point inside the heart, you also see the triangle. Every time when the breath goes in or comes out, you see the triangle, equilateral triangle inside the heart. I'm saying you simply see it, you don't imagine, you don't visualize. What is the mean difference between the seeing? When you see, there is no effort. When you imagine and visualize, you make an effort. But what is the, what it means? If I ask you, have you seen the triangle, your mind instantly answers yes. You already have seen the triangle deeper in your mind, that's why you said yes, you record it. That is what I'm saying. It's a recalling what you already know. Every time when the Breath is going in and coming out. Now, let the breath and the mind move on a triangle inside the heart. What we are doing, we are bringing the memory of a triangle at a conscious level without any focus. That is another key that will take you very deep. The moment the breath goes in, the breath in the mind moves on a triangle. When it comes out, it moves on a triangle, as if the triangle is a tunnel in which the breath moves, completes the journey on all the three sides, Along with the breath, the mind also moves, without changing the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Another expansion of the mind. When the breath comes, goes in, become aware as if the breath and the mind moves on a triangle from the front. When the breath comes out, feel as if you see the triangle from the back. That is what. In that state of stillness, calmness in the body. You are fully aware of the space outside, the sensation and the stillness in the background that lays a strong foundation for this practice. And in that state, every time the breath goes in, you see as if it is, you're looking, you're seeing the triangle from the front where is the breath and the mind moves on a triangle? Same thing when the breath comes out, as if you see it from the back. Now, 
when the breath in the mind moves on a triangle from the front when it goes in drop one aim on one side of a triangle and you're still aware of other two sides do you make an effort no we don't need to make an effort when you think oh i have to be aware of the other two sides you miss it so don't think when the breath goes in and comes out every time breath goes and you drop one aim on one side of a triangle when the breath comes out you dropped one aim on one side of a triangle it is as if the breath is the car the mind is the driver who is driving the natural breath and aim is the master sitting in the car and in that state of the sensation in the stillness in the body you drop one aim when the breath goes in on a one side of a triangle when the breath comes out you drop one aim on one side of a triangle even if you sustain and engage the mind to live within for a longer period i would say more than 30 minutes you are already going deeper now drop two aim on two sides of a triangle inside the heart when the breath goes in and comes out every time breath in the mind moves on a triangle you drop two aim one on two so one each on the two sides in the third you remain aware and when the breath comes out again you drop to a one on each two sides of it trying and third remains blank continue
All inclusive awareness and expanding the mind consciously. Expansion naturally awakens one to the inner, deeper states of the memory, the unconsciousness, the thought pattern, the feeling, the anxiety. Now's the time to drop three aim on one on each side of a triangle when the breath goes in and also when the breath comes out. So w- one breath. Still in the heart area? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking inside, the breath is going in, mind moves on a triangle inside the heart. You drop a me me. Breath comes out, you see the triangle from the back. Casual dropping of aim. Remember, I inspired you to see the triangle. Don't imagine, visualize. You need not to make any effort. We continue to do inside the heart now. We will be doing inside the head and also in outside the body, but with a different uh, customization. Sometime the sleep comes, it is okay. Mind has the habit when it goes within, it has nothing to do with the thought pattern. It is habituated to fall into unconscious sleep, it's okay. But when you hear me continue to practice, then you may get carried away by the influx of thoughts. Use that as an opportunity to become aware that the thoughts are on the surface and you are deep down, still doing a me, me. That would be a good state, very deeper state, where you separate all the thoughts, you see them on the surface, but deep inside, you experience the state of the calmness, like the ocean, the water on the surface is turbulent because of the wind. But deep inside, the ocean, the water remains calm. Today, let us say, now drop to two aim again from three. You start doing the two aim on two sides, the third is blank. You will awaken to more inner space, deeper, deeper inner space. Again, today is the customization. One, two, three, and then we return to two.
When the breath goes in, breath in the mind moves on a triangle from the front, inside the heart, dropping to aim. Outward journey, the breath in the mind sees the triangle from the back, drops to aim, in that state of the stillness and the calmness in the body. And now the one aim each side, only on one side of a triangle when the breath goes in and comes out in that state of the calmness, in the stillness. You consciously experience your mind is engaged deeper within by this step and we are succeeding. If we remain in that state of the stillness, calmness, the body seems to freeze down, doesn't want to move. That's another good indication that the mind has moved within consciously. You're dropping one aim, it's on one side, inside the heart on a triangle when the breath goes in, and also when the breath comes out, one aim on one side. Now, drop one aim to no more, chanting the flame, continue to move the mind on a triangle, breath in the mind, continues to move on a triangle, with the breath going in, and out and see the difference when we started and now. It is a subjective conscious <laughs> experience. The mind is in living within. And mind is living within. Explore when the breath and the mind moves on a triangle. 
Every time when the breath goes in, when the breath comes out, become aware of the space inside the triangle and outside. Aware of the space inside and outside the triangle until you experience the triangle disappears, only the space remains. You are aware of the space inside and outside the triangle as the breath goes in and comes out. Continue until you will experience the triangle disappears only the space, the infinite space, remains like the sky. And now you are in that infinite space. You are the space. You are the container. The contents are different than you. The glass is a container and the water is a content. You can pour the milk, you can pour the water, uh, you can pour the poison into it. Now we witness. Now we witness the container and the content separately. without doing anything. What it means? You are the infinite space or the container. The birds fly in the sky, it doesn't, nothing happens to the sky. So, 
remain in that state, thought comes. It is a content. Thought comes. It is a content. And you are still aware that you are the infinite space, a separation. There is a forgetfulness. You get carried by, carried away by the unconsciousness. It is still the content. You fall into deep sleep. It is still the content. You become aware of the noises outside. It is still the content. Witness is used to awaken to the separation between the content and the container. The moment you experience that separation, you are awakening. And that releases, that drops the accumulated past. You are in the state of doing nothing. What the space does, nothing. as if you are into the eternal state of doing nothing. You are a non-doer. Thought comes and goes, sleep comes and goes. Forgetfulness comes and goes, pain comes and goes, you are none of them. That is the key to an awakening. You're doing nothing. When you practice this meditation in the hand, you remain in that eternal state of doing nothing as a container, watching, witnessing, things are coming and going. Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Bring your awareness on the right hand your awareness on the left hand and take your time. If you feel you're not ready to move, remain in that state. We are not in a hurry. And that is going to be wonderful. That you're fully aware and still, you find it difficult to move the body. One, when you are ready, you can bring both your palms on your eyes, opening the eyes inside, and then we will share our experiences.